Alrighty, so the brand new raid is out, and uh, this thing is quite interesting, I do have to say. Uh, I'm going to invite Volume to come hang out with me. He is in the Discord call as well, I'm just doing the whole intro thing. But uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel or anything, feel free to subscribe. We're going to be messing around with a lot of the uh, the new content and stuff like that throughout the uh, the week. And, uh, you know, I just did live summons and everything for the character and everything. Uh, so far, I do have level 100 Trader Meliodas, uh, just because they did give out enough free mats and stuff like that to do one free character like right at the beginning um, we are going to be running this team right here which is pretty much the counterpart uh, if you watch the raid prep video that I did a little bit earlier in the week uh, there's two teams that you kind of want to use this is the more I guess like attack oriented team because you're going to be using Arthur to buff uh, Melly to sort of deal big damage and everything like that he is going to be using the Deanne side of the team and Deanne is absolutely insane uh, for this raid you can see that she is strong she does get like sort of like a, a an extra bit of you know damage and stuff like that dealt to the, the enemy because of you know this being her her raid I guess um, but uh, so far it's been really really fun very interesting to see how it sort of pans out and everything uh, we're doing it on hell difficulty which is definitely by far like the hardest you know difficulty of course because it's the highest highest difficulty uh, it's not super insane as far as like mechanics go it's actually kind of straightforward for the most part um, but uh, you know if you don't have the specific characters or maybe you just don't meet the CC requirement because he is 550 K CC uh, on hell difficulty so that's quite high you need to have you know both of your teams at a pretty decent CC uh, but I'm gonna unmute really quick we're gonna hop into this thing and uh, sort of like talk through it as we go so uh, what's going on let's do this thing yeah let's get it all right so the basic idea is on phase one there's not really any sort of crazy gimmicks other than after a few turns he's going to use um, a debuff card that's actually really bad to have on uh, I'll actually inspect him and see what it actually does but you want to make sure that you get uh, your um, Arthur's level three buff card out at some point before then. I got rank up first turn. Um, and so that way you get debuff immunity. So if we inspect him really quickly, he puts out, I think it's this card right here, for two turns, disables all skills of all enemies except for buff and debuff skills, disables ultimate moves, disables skills which are ranked two or higher. So it pretty much disables your entire hand. Uh, so definitely not something you want to get hit by. But yeah, um, I've got a as well for level three. Okay, I'm gonna Arthur buff and then taunt, and I, then yeah, I don't have cards yeah. this turn, so go ahead and do whatever uh, you need to do. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so we're gonna put that up. This should be really good, actually. Hopefully, you know, obviously, Melly is your big damage dealer. Pulling extra amplify cards from him is gonna, you know, help you finish this a lot faster. If you don't have Trader Melly, uh, from my understanding, you can use Red Escanor, which sounds insane. Um, but I definitely recommend doing it on a lower difficulty. I think trying to suffer through hell difficulty with, with Red Escanor is probably not worth the time and trouble that it's gonna cost you. Um, Hopefully, if you end up summoning on Liz or anything like that, you can try to pull a copy of him, but rates are, odds are low. <laughs> um, but yeah, having uh, the Trader Melee cards and stuff like that is going to be really nice. I think I'm just going to uh, throw out some of this stuff and maybe try to pull some extra cards before we get super into this. But you can see, I mean, he deals quite a bit of damage here, even in phase one. So you kind of want to, you know, get your stuff going and uh, sort of not necessarily like rush through it because you do want to make sure that you have decent stuff in hand for each phase um, but first phase isn't too bad it's normally just you know a lot of a lot of beating him down sort of getting rid of cards trying to make sure that you're prepping for the next two phases and yeah, making sure he doesn't put the DF on. Second phase. It's, the, it's the third phase you're prepping for yeah so the third phase is not necessarily like super gimmicky he does put on some buffs and stuff like that but you just need really heavy hitting cards to be able to actually deal like good damage to him so you just want to make sure that you're not wasting all of your cards going into phase three would you like me to use another rank up here uh do you have a level two i have a level three um e yeah i have a, a level one so i'll rank up as well and then we no, can yeah I'll, i have another level three then <laughs> okay um what what do you have in hand i got a level three dn and a level three uh sim target melee 
Want me to just throw out one of the DNs or just use the melee? I think use the melee. Okay. And then I'll throw these. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll just re-taunt. Okay, that works. So making sure that you have the taunt up in phase one is also pretty important because it's going to make sure that he single targets Deanne, builds up her stacks, which is really, really nice. And it makes to where, uh, you know, he's not attacking your other characters. Um, but once it gets down to it, and I think it's in phase three, he pretty much only has AOE cards. So the taunt isn't going to save you. Uh, you're going to take damage from all of your characters, which is very unfortunate but this is where it gets a little bit interesting. This is the beginning of phase two. You can see he has this interesting buff on. Uh, if we go ahead and inspect him and you can see, or actually I'm kind of in the way a little bit, but you can see it says evades melee skill attacks. And uh, basically all you have to do is use um, a, the DN level three card. It's gonna do a really good amount of damage there. Do um, you have more than one by chance? Yeah, but my head is trash, so I'll throw out this. And that's like all my damage right there. Okay, I'm gonna throw Ooh, I should have buffed first, but we'll throw that. Oh, we're not we're not even buffed. Okay. But we can stall a turn, it's fine. I should have buffed first, that was my bad. That's okay, we can stall a turn if we need more more card space. Yeah, should be alright. So you can see he uses the the end cards first, gets rid of the buff, no problem there. Arthur's not gonna do like super crazy, but if he crits, he actually deals a really good amount of damage. Your melee could still kill here. Uh, maybe. Ooh, yeah. Very good kill. Are, are, are we set up for last phase? Because I have zero damage. <laughs> uh, I have one level three melee card. Okay. So, okay, if you draw more, let me know and I'll rank you up. Uh, I did pull one. I still have taunt, so I can throw up... Mm, mm. My, my hand is looking kind of rough. I can throw that for now. That's all I got. This should kill. I think we kill. You think so? Uh, Melly does a lot of damage. He does do so a does, lot of damage. So does the end. Maybe. I think we have a chance. I think we got it. I think we have it. So boom, crits. bam. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we yeah. Got it. I think this the end card's gonna kill. Oh yeah, for sure. The 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 MVPs here cool. are definitely the best of us. Yeah, that's so that's the biggest thing that you have to worry about is the fact that Deanne is insane for this and she is a, a more recent festival. She there's no way to get her right now during this festival because she's not in the uh, the coin shop. Uh, she's not on the banner, which is very unfortunate. But um, if you already have Trader Melly, which hopefully you do, if not, you know, hopefully you can try to pull a copy of him. Uh, he's just obviously insane DPS. So he's pretty much going to carry you through most of the fight as far as damage goes. Uh, but the DN is really nice to have so if you can find if you don't have Deanne try to find a partner who does um, if you need to uh, definitely try to find somebody that you can kind of like cooperate with and sort of you know just learn the mechanics of the fight with uh, as you know we're in these sort of early days of the fight but um, it's honestly not too bad we've already ran what this was six of them today because it, we did your three and my three so I mean we've already pretty much got it almost down pat at this point like I mean obviously there's some there's some RNG things if you don't pull the right cards you kind of have to work around or stall a little bit and stuff like that but um, you know as it goes along you'll you'll sort of figure out like w what cards are gonna end up you know doing crazy damage and and you'll be able to sort of help uh, figure out what cards you need to waste and what cards should, you know, deal what they need to. So it's uh, it's it, not it, it's crazy. It's more like gauging the damage because, like, you can underestimate and overestimate your damage at times. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so that's another thing is just, just doing the fight enough to learn, like, oh, like, I don't need to use this. It'll end up wasting it. We're already doing enough damage right here. So that way you're not wasting, like, really good cards or whatever. But um, sometimes you kind of have to, like, if you don't know for sure, you, you want to really it just in case or else you might end up messing up but uh it just takes a little bit of practice he's honestly not as bad as i was thinking he would be i don't think he mechanically he's not as bad as belmoth because belmoth you pretty much have to wipe every turn that you attack or else he's gonna like retaliate like really strong um but he's basically just kind of like a beefed up howlix like everybody's been saying yeah he's he's pretty easy i think as long as you have the end trader melee and then red arthur you're you, you can set up your team either way yeah, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of experimentation in the next, you know, several weeks or, you know, maybe even the next couple of days. I'm sure the global community as a whole, because it's very large, will end up finding alternatives for some of the characters and everything like that. So definitely keep an eye out. I'll try to keep my eye out as well and try to make, you know, videos on different teams and stuff like that if there's something, you know, very different that's a lot better. Uh, but that is pretty much it.
for you know hell difficulty obviously it's kind of straightforward i gotta i gotta be honest it's actually not that bad um so you know just kind of hop into it make sure that you have the units of course you know make sure that you've got ur gear and everything like that because he does have really high cc you want to make sure that you you know go first but uh, that is pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video feel free to go check out volume i'll leave his uh channel link in the description and everything for helping me uh go check him out and uh see you guys later